Hi guys, um, in this craft video, we are going to be working on our uh, under the sea stained glass project. So what you will need is stained glass paint, uh, a cup or a little bowl of water for your paintbrush, paper towels. Um, as you see, I have some underneath. I have some here for me to um, pat my brush when I go to switch colors. And I have a little extra one just in case um, the paint comes onto the black lines as you can see here and then finally you will um, be receiving a ribbon in your package and this ribbon will be used to hang the stained glass up so if you look at your um, stained glass picture there's gonna be a little notch where you put the ribbon through All right, so let's get started, guys. So if you can see here, I have some beautiful dolphins swimming deep in the sea with some um, seaweed. And it looks like there might be some rocks down here with some sand. So what I want to start with first, I'm going to wet my paintbrush like usual, and I'm going to dab it a little dry. And I'm going to, let's dig in with some green. And let's paint our um, seaweed. So you just want to do it lightly. You don't have to use too much paint. You just want to have fun with this as well and be a little patient. The fun thing about this is that um, you can put it by your window. Um, just last for our last package, we did have a sun catcher. So this is, um, you know, this is a different theme, but similar where you can put it in your window in your bedroom or you can put it outside um i would prefer i mean i, I personally would prefer by a window uh, so that you can see the colors come into your house or your bedroom um when the sun hits the stained glass image in it and it picks up all the different colors it's, it's quite a sight to see and i know you guys are enjoying these crafts So if you can see here, I did get some paint on my um, on my black lines. Let me bring it up a little closer. If you can see the, you don't have to clean it up, but I would pref I just would prefer so that you can see the the defining lines of the seaweed. And I will put that to the side. I will put that to the side, and I will continue going to my next seaweed. So there are all my seaweeds. I don't want to leave my paintbrush in the water for too long. So I'm going to pat it into the water to get that green off. Then I'm going to actually set this to the side because I want to go through and clean up the seaweed now. I'm going to fold it over so that I don't get the wet paint on my on the table. I'm gonna wet it again, pat it dry. Um, next, you know, I think I wanna go in and maybe have some fun and paint some of the rocks that are down here. I think I'm gonna go with the color purple for some of them. I'm 
it doesn't have to be true to nature, but we probably have seen a few pebbles that are purple out there. Make it as colorful as possible. That's the fun part about art. You just have as much fun as you can. And then when you're all done, you get to admire all your hard work. I'm gonna choose a different color. Always remember to wash your paintbrush in between and pat it dry. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in to our yellow to paint some of the sand parts. It'll be fun if I um think it'll be a lot of fun if I gave the sand a different shade. I'm gonna go in with our orange. I'm gonna touch up some of my yellow. Any spots I might have missed, so but don't worry, you don't have to cover each spot. It's still gonna look beautiful in the end. And then I'm going to go in with my um, napkin over here to draw up some of those lines I painted over. Like I said, this is not necessary if you don't feel that you need to. So we painted our dolphins. I'm gonna use this nice teal, um, like blue looking color. Remember, you don't have to paint things according to what um, we believe that they're supposed to be. So normally dolphins would be gray. But I think it'd be fun in our art to um, be creative and try new colors and see them in a new light. I'm 
really enjoy how they look right now. They look really beautiful, like a nice sky blue. going with some white in the bottom of our dolphins. I'm gonna touch it up a bit. See that um, a little bit of paint goes a long way. Now I'm going to go in with our blue for the background, for our very blue ocean.
Don't be afraid to get your little, don't be afraid to get the, your hands a little, you know, dirty. If you can see here, I have gotten a little bit of paint on my thumb. You know what I think would be a lot of fun if we did? Um, I'm gonna add some of that light blue teal at the top to give the our ocean a little bit of gradient. So you wanna, if you, if you do wanna add multiple colors and kind of mix it together, try to do it as the paint is still wet so that they have a good time mixing one another. Cause we don't want, we don't wanna work too hard and we don't want our paintbrush working too hard either. We want this to be a fun and easy um, piece of art for us. So I'm gonna go, you know what, before I contaminate my paint colors, I'm going to clean my paintbrush. I almost made a mistake there, guys. Okay, so I am pretty happy. Oh wait, I missed a few rocks. Let me go back in there. Actually, and add a little bit more color. So um, it seems that we have used all our colors here. So let's throw in a little light blue rock over here. We can throw in a green rock down here. Green and purple always look so nice next to each other because they are complementary colors. I'm gonna do another little one over here. Little lone pebble amongst the sand. Let's take, why not, let's have a white rock. If you do see any spots on your dolphin, if you chose to paint yours white, you could always go back in there and touch them up. You don't want it to be too opaque. And so we're almost done here. Um, next, what I, what you can do or what I can do as well on the side is clean up any little pieces here. So I'll take that. Okay guys, so stained glass paint tends to dry rather quickly, so you could just let it sit for a few minutes. You can go grab a drink, grab a snack, come back, you can stretch it out a bit if you like. But to finally finish off our piece, if you would like to hang it, you will grab your ribbon and find the notch on your portrait and stick the ribbon through. You can thread it through, which is the correct way to say it. And then we will tie the end. Always, um, never be afraid to ask for help. 
if you need help with the, these two last steps. And then voila, there we go. This is our under the sea stained glass paint. I hope you guys enjoy yourselves and have a lot of fun.